there, we're talking about motorcycle insurance today and some things that you should remember when buying motorcycle insurance. One of the things I recommend people look at is make sure that you're doing the same things you would do with your auto policy. From limits to deductibles to mileage, all of those things are really very similar. But a lot of people don't ride their bikes as much. So you want to make sure you're keeping an eye on those things when you do it. Two, safety classes. Motorcycles have a lot of discounts for being in clubs or safety classes that promote those sorts of safe riding. Everything from your CHP motorcycle safety courses that are approved in California to motorcycle safety foundation courses or American Motorcycle Association courses all fit in the list of discounts that you can get on your motorcycle insurance, all for just having fun, being safe, and learning some good tips and tricks about motorcycle riding. The last thing I'd look at is your gear. When you have a car, everything that really is in the car and built with it is covered. On motorbikes, this is not always true. Things like saddlebags, your leathers, riding gear, other touring gear, things that you add to your motorcycle may not always be covered. And for many people, your motorcycle is a labor of love. You've added a lot of things to it, fancy chrome bits, performance engines, and if you're not accounting for that, you could come up very short in a claim. So I hope you got a lot out of this. Love talking motorbikes, I love motorcycles and all things cars. So any questions about that or any other insurance topic about how to make sure you're doing it right, protecting your family, reach out to me, hit me up in the comments. Glad to talk about it. So when spring comes, have a safe ride and get out on the road.